How y'all doing? Howdy Isaac here. First, the second attempt at this video. My first attempt, apparently I cut it off. About halfway through and I was talking to nothing for about 15 minutes. But I don't know about 15 minutes. Oh man. I don't know where my phone is. I think I left my phone at the car. Hit a mile and a half back that way. I ain't going back. Man. We're just out here walking these walking these hills today. Just trying to kill some time. Looking for some Sasquatch signs. There's been been more reports out in here. So we're gonna come check them out. Just kind of, you know what? I hear a dog. I think mine. Well, they've definitely been something out in here. That's probably turkeys. The thing about turkeys is they used to be a tree that was across the road right here. Actually, a bunch of them. And all that's left is limbs. And I know there ain't been nobody riding that in here. There ain't no tracks. I don't know. I smell something. I don't think it's me. I don't know. I get nervous out in here when I'm in here by myself and I start smelling stuff, you know. I've been run out of here once. By a force that's unknown. I'm looking around trying to see stuff. So y'all doing all right? I hope y'all are. I'm out here braving the ticks today. Out here used to be another truck. Well, let's pull this stuff out of the road, baby. I'm sure it's probably going to happen, but it's still. feel. Ouch. I got a bar holding me there a while ago. This thing eat me up. What is that? Well, I found one of the stick clip that was in the road. Look at that. It's been laid right in the forest of that tree like that. Must have been a baby sasquatch. Usually they're way up high. He just learned. It. No, I'm serious. <laughs> that ain't no joke. Yeah, them trees. They've been laid in there like a teepee almost. Well, I ain't gonna get close to it. I don't wanna, I don't wanna spook nobody or nothing. And no thing. Oh man. Yeah, we just been out here walking. There's supposed to be some big wild coyotes and stuff down in here and some wild dogs. Bears and Sasquatch. But four things I gotta watch for while I'm out in here. Especially by myself. Because, you know, something sees you by yourself. <clears throat> It'll come more coming at you than it will if you're with several people. Coming out here on the edge of this property. And, uh, man, I'll tell you what. It's been a long time since I've been out in here. That tree right there is, uh, I fell asleep in that tree one night and woke up at 10.30 at night. And I had to walk two miles out of this place to get back to civilization. In the dark, and it was raining. That's what woke me up, the rain. But it's got a big fork in that tree that kind of swoops, you know. Man, it's perfect. I lay down and slept. I think I went to sleep like 6 in the evening. Now right down there, used to sit that old house. That's the old house where uh, I had my Sasquatch encounter. I don't like coming out in here by myself. But I am today. As y'all can see. I'm set that camera right there. Take me a break here for a minute. I got a plan on my tablet there a while ago. And I figured out some things I could do with that. Pretty interesting. 
I'm not very not very literate when it comes to electronics, but I found out something I could do with that tablet that's going to make life real interesting, hopefully this week. So uh, I can actually keep notes on stuff now and uh, stuff like it. I don't know where them dogs is, but I'm going to start easing on back this way in a minute. I think I'll start easing on back that way now. So, uh, I ain't seen a whole lot of fast watch signs today. Man, I was hoping we would. But, I'm glad I got to bring y'all that in here today. I've done one of them videos there Sunday. I'm going to take me a break. Look at some of these rocks here on top of this mountain. Oh, man. I tell you. I like that in here, people. Look at that. I can't tell if that's a fossil or what. Looks like that's bones in that. I'm taking that home. Might have found some extinct dinosaur or something. Well, of course it's an extinct dinosaur. They're all extinct. Except for, except for Loch Ness. <clears throat> Loch Ness monster. I feel like Loch Ness monster is a plesiosaur. That's why I, I mean that's what I feel about it. But y'all believe what you want. Sasquatch. Now Sasquatch is Sasquatch. Because if you pick your map up, pick your map up sometime, and you look at where all the Native American tribes were located. Okay? And pick up a, another map that shows where all the Sasquatch sightings in the United States have been. You will see a very interesting detail. Check it out sometime. Rocks everywhere. I love rock hunting. I like that. I don't know what that is. Looks like bone. I'm keeping it. I brought one. Uh, brought one home the other day. It was a. It was a bone. Uh, it was a. It was a rock. It was shaped like half a skull. My wife said, "Don't bring it in my house. That'll curse us." Nah, it wasn't gonna curse us. And now we get bottles flying across the room. I got hit in the back with a roll of paper towels the other day. Believe it or not, I ain't lying. But I don't think that's what that is. That's, that's something completely completely different. This has been going on for a while. And uh, certain events happen in the family. It flares up a little bit and it gets just a little bit more active. And uh, do I believe it's family? I believe it's got something to do with it. But anyway, get back to Sasquatch. Had a guy tell me the other day, he said, man, he said, if Sasquatch is real, why ain't nobody found us? Well, I've answered this question a hundred times. So anyway, I went and done some research on it. How many, how many Sasquatch sightings do you think they've been in the United States of America since they've been keeping track of it? Come on, now, mate. 10,000, over 10,000. That's over 10,000 people have seen the Sasquatch, including myself. And uh, so, that tells me, if you're saying, why ain't nobody ever seen none? Well, you got 10,000 people that says they have. Why ain't they found any? Who knows? Why is it so hard to find a bear? Why is it so hard to find the remains of a bear in the woods? You can but it's hard to do. Speaking of bears, I think bears have in here. I don't like it. If we can find a footprint. Whew, thought I seen a bear. <laughs> but anyway. The bear asked me all day, so what do you do when you run into a bear? Well, you can't really climb a tree because they can climb. You can't really play dead because they'll just drag you out somewhere. But what do you do? You gotta make yourself look as tall and mean as possible. Sometimes they'll back down, sometimes they won't. But most of the time they will. But now if they've got a little one, like a cub or something with them, well, you're in trouble. Oh man. Look at that. Look at that. Let me see if I can get this back on. That looks like a heel. That looks like. Man, that's interesting. I put mine beside of it. 
That's interesting. And that's going right here where these trees are dug out of the road. Right over that hill right there. That were the, I, I'm looking at those trees that are stacked in that fork. That's interesting, people. Yeah, that's, somebody else said they seen something. Oh, well, not seen something, but they heard something they didn't hear the other day, so. My garden's way over yonder on the other side of that hill. So I went over there fairly close to this, not really, but I went over there and I said, you know what, I'm going to sit here and wait, see what happens. Well, I didn't really smell or see anything, but I heard something. It's making like a whistling noise. It was whistle and it was grunt. Whistle, grunt. But that's all I could get out of it. Me and my brothers out in here one time and actually heard tree knocks. You want to know what a tree knock is? That's uh, where they'll, Sasquatch will pick something up and bait on the tree with it. I've heard it multiple occasions, multiple times. And I'll let it spin right here in the Daniel Boone National Park. Now, oh. well, I'm going to get up off here, people. It's starting to get late. I need to try to get on back toward the car before it gets dark. Still got y'all with me. I'm going to make sure I hadn't cut the video off again like I did a while ago. And I uh, talked to, uh, I talked to the air for about five minutes out of 15, I think it was. But anyway, I'm going to get up off here and let y'all go do what it is y'all do. Main thing is, though, y'all take care of one another. I don't check on each other now and then, every now and then. Talking too fast, get my tongue twisted. But I only got one. Get my tongue twisted. Now, but you know, the world's still, the world's still in a mess right now. It's, I think it's getting better. But still a mess. And right now we need each other more than we need anything. Because if we'll stick together, we'll be just fine. And I've told y'all this, told y'all this. I, I really believe it. Just stick together and check on one another and wash your hands like you don't like them. Social distance like Sasquatch. I've been out in here looking for him all day. And not once has he let me get close to him. That's how we need to be. So we can get this thing over with and we can get back out into the world and start living life again. He's going to sit at home so long, you know what I mean? He'll start, he'll start, uh, he'll start losing it. I put a video game in because video games, to me, what a video game is, a lot of people don't like video games. They'll say, well, you can't play video games, man. You're too old for that. Well, no, I ain't too old for it. Because what that does is, if you put a good video game in, you turn it on, it takes you away from this world and puts you in a virtual world, and it, and and you forget about you forget about everything for the time being, you know. And then of course you're gonna have to turn it off, come back to reality. But there's that time when you're not. That's why I do these videos because what time y'all's watching these videos, you're not worried about what's going on out here in the world. You're focusing on Buddy Isaac and his elusive search. Did I say that right? And his search for the elusive Sasquatch. So. Thank your uh, social workers, fire department, and all your EMS, and your uh, emergency people, and uh, everybody that's out in here working on this thing right now. Your grocery shop, or grocery shop, grocery store workers, uh, nurses, doctors, gas station attendants, truck drivers, everybody that's out here on the front lines right now working in this mess. I appreciate you. I'll be the first to tell you. But, uh, this ain't the last time this week you're going to see Buddy Isaac. But we're going to continue our search for Sasquatch. Buddy Isaac, and I'm out. <laughs> I like to end it dramatic. Y'all like that?